When do you need to encourage somebody? And when do you need to coach somebody? That's the question that I'm asking myself. So again, talking to my buddies that lead and own businesses, we want to, again, and we're gonna figure this out. How do we attract great talent? How do we attract great talent to our companies? How do we train that great talent? And we wanna retain, how do we retain great talent? And to attract, train, and retain, there's so many ingredients to this. One of the ingredients I wanna share today that happened to me is culture. And with culture, so for myself as a leader owner, culture is influenced by you know, when I'm encouraging somebody and I'm coaching somebody. And Rick Meyer, thank you for the work, you know, proclivity. My proclivity is to, is to coach. I love to coach. And my son, Tucker, thank you, Tuck, sent me a video this morning. And I watched the video and I immediately coached him. And he very politely said, I appreciate the, the coaching. And he said, once in a while, or I don't know, he probably didn't say once in a while because he, he wasn't passive aggressive, but he said, it'd be good to hear words of encouragement from time to time. And he said, I'm very tough also. So he was saying, hey, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really tough and I could still use some encouragement once in a while. I said, that is not my superpower. Um, and so then I, after that call or after that uh, interaction, I, ha I called my son Dakota, who's our ops guy, leads at our learning glass. And I said to him, hey, do you, you know, here's what Tucker, your brother just said, do you find that true about me? And he said, yeah, yeah, I find that true. And um, so again, thinking about like, well, shoot, man, I, my, my default is to coach. I think Dakota said, by the way, I think he said something like, you're, you're not like a very comforting person. Like if the wheels fall off, I think I can be comforting, but I don't, I'm not, I'm not comforting. So, and I kind of just smirk and blow it off because I'm like, I am strong coach. It's like, that's bullshit pacification as well. The truth is I need to get better at this stuff. So, but I'm 57, so it's like teaching an old dog new tricks. I can learn, I am coachable myself, and I need people like Tucker and Dakota to speak to me. I'm like, you need, I told Dakota, I said, I need you to tell me when I need to be more encouraging. And some of you guys watching this might be like, you're, you're an idiot, Jerry. It's like, that is true. And I still need to be told. Like I, I need coaching. Like I need to be told when I'm disproportionate coaching people instead of providing encouragement. So I used to put it, kind of put it in my calendar and Mark Schulte, one of my leaders hates that I do this, but is like, I couldn't remember to be like encouraging. So I would take certain people and put them in my calendar and be like, today's the day I'm encouraging this person. And that might sound canned or artificial, but like, don't we kind of do that in our marriages also in our relationships? Like my wife and I are going to have to, you know, today's not Wednesday, today's Tuesday. Tomorrow night's date night. Like I put it in my account, like Tuesday, every Wednesday is date night, Wednesday, Saturday is date night. And so I have a rhythm booked in my calendar that I'm going to date my wife. So what's different about putting a rhythm in your calendar to encourage your leaders? Something for me to think about.